Welcome to our assembly story time. Today's story is called The Easter Story Part 2. You can read along with me if you like, or just sit back and enjoy the story. If you want to read along, stop the video, open the file called Storytime 8, The Easter Story Part 2 Script. When you're ready, come back and press play to read along as you listen. If you're ready, let's begin. The trial of Jesus got very serious. The religious leaders had heard Jesus say that he was the Son of God. That settles it, said Caiaphas. He claims to be God. He must die. But only the Roman governor, Pilate, was able to pass a death sentence. They took Jesus to Pilate's palace and told terrible lies. This man has been stirring up trouble, they said. He tells people not to pay taxes, and he says he's a king. If these charges were true, Jesus would be sentenced to death. But Pilate didn't think they were true. He questioned Jesus about it and could find nothing wrong that he had done. He wanted to release Jesus, but in the street below, a mob of people had gathered, led by the priests and leaders, and they were chanting over and over, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate was worried that there would be a riot. He decided to wash his hands of the whole matter and handed Jesus over to be crucified, just as the mob insisted. Jesus was horribly beaten and had to carry his cross all the way up the hill called Golgotha. There he was crucified with two other people. They were thieves. One thief called out mean things to Jesus like the crowd did. But the other said, leave him alone. We deserve to be punished here, but he has done nothing wrong. Lord, he said to Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, Today you will be with me in paradise. A lot more happened that day, but at noon, when the sun should have been brightest, thick darkness fell. Then at three o'clock, Jesus called out, It is finished! And he gave up his spirit and died. Just at that moment, the cloth in the temple that separated the holy place from the people split in two from top to bottom. Joseph of Arimathea got permission to take Jesus' body and bury it in a cave tomb in his garden. And for three days, that's where Jesus' body lay. On the Sunday morning, after the Sabbath was over, the women agreed to take sweet-smelling spices and clean grave clothes to care for Jesus' body and bury him properly. When they arrived at the cave tomb, they couldn't believe their eyes. The huge stone that covered the cave entrance was rolled away, and the cave was empty. Mary Magdalene ran to tell Peter and the other disciples, They've taken away the Lord. We don't know where he's gone. Peter and John ran as fast as they could and saw that the tomb was empty. Jesus had told them that this would happen. Could it be true? Mary stayed by the tomb, weeping. She looked inside again and saw two angels sitting where Jesus' body should have been. Why are you crying? the angels asked her. Because they've taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they've taken him. Just then, Mary turned to see a man behind her in the garden. She didn't realise it, but it was Jesus. He said, Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Mary said, Sir, if you know where they've taken my Lord from here, please tell me, I will take him away. Jesus said, Mary. He said it in such a way that she recognised him. Master, she gasped. Jesus said, Go Tell my disciples that I ascend to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary ran as fast as she could to tell the disciples, I have seen the Lord. He is risen. He is risen. Today we still remember 
all the different parts of the Easter story. On Palm Sunday, we remember how people threw palm branches to welcome Jesus to Jerusalem. On Monday, Thursday, we remember how Jesus washed his disciples' feet, shared bread and wine with them, and taught them to love one another. On Good Friday, we remember how Jesus was killed by his enemies and buried in the cave tomb. And on Easter Day, we remember how Mary discovered the empty tomb and ran to share the good news. I have seen the Lord. He is risen. I hope you've enjoyed listening to the Easter story and you will understand a bit better why followers of Jesus, even today, do all these things to remember him just like he asked us to. You can listen to the story again as often as you like. When you're ready, go and see the next video called Storytime 8 Companion for some things to think about and some things to do. Bye-bye for now.